guys, welcome to TNG Life and in today's video I'm going to be talking about my 12 week pregnancy update. I cannot believe it's 12 weeks. I'm actually going to be 13 weeks tomorrow so I'm making this update today. If you're new here please subscribe to join our growing family and for more pregnancy videos to come and hit that thumbs up button if you're excited to hear about what's going on this week. First I'm going to go ahead and show you the size of the baby this week from my apps and then I'll get into my symptoms. So stick around and let's get started. The size of the baby this week is the size of a ripe apricot. So weird but cute animals. Sizing says Roboroski hamster. Not sure what that one is. I've never seen one of those but this is what the weird but cute animal says for this week. My Pregnancy Plus app says that the size of the baby this week is the hummingbird. And I think I kind of messed up. I think I showed you guys that last week. The thing is I'm confused about this app is it says that when I actually go to like today's date and I'm 12, uh, you know, almost 13 weeks, but I'm in my 12th week. So it shows week 13 for size, which I'm not sure why it does that. I think the actual size is the hummingbird for this week. So that's what we have in my Pregnancy Plus app. First, I can't believe that I'm actually almost in my third, third, wow. Almost in my second trimester. This week actually has been good to me. It's, it looks like things are looking up. I'm so excited. I hope it's gonna stay this way. Uh, baby is as large as the size of a lime or apricot, which I already showed you the apricot, but also size of a lime, which some limes are really small, but I think it's a regular size lime, so whatever. So what happened this week? What are my symptoms? So like I said, this week I've been feeling a lot better as far as symptoms go. I definitely started with a lot of headaches this week. I definitely started with a lot of heartburns this week. I've been having heartburns here and there once in a while. Um, it seems like they don't last long, so that's good. Like I would get one and I just keep going with my day and then it's gone. So that's a good thing. I have not had to take any uh, medication for heartburn just yet. Dizziness has come back. So I've been a lot more dizzy than in the past weeks. Um, so kind of like the first two weeks that I found out that I was pregnant, um, seems like that dizziness has come back and in the app it does say that that happens during this time so I guess that's normal. Also during this week I still get nauseous once in a while mostly in the mornings I would say when I get up and I don't have anything in my stomach um, that's usually when I get nauseous um, a little bit. Obviously I'm out of breath um, I feel like uh, for the most part, it's not too bad. If I'm not like running, doing things like crazy, then uh, it's not too bad. What else? So this week, I've been definitely more hungry than before. It seems like my appetite has gotten a lot better than it used to be. It seems like I can actually eat things now. Um, as far as the smells go, I still don't like certain smells like if um, something's cooking up in the kitchen with a lot of spices. Some spices I just can't stand and I just, I, I, it makes me actually sick just smelling that. So I definitely get nauseous smelling certain things so that hasn't gone away but my appetite has come back. I can eat more things now. I definitely enjoy things a little bit more now. I don't have any cravings. I really can't tell at this point. I really don't have anything that I've been really craving a lot. Also new this week, I started feeling more bloated and gassy again, just like at the beginning of my pregnancy. My digestion issues have come back. So some days I can't seem to go to the bathroom. Um, I know it's TMI, but you know, you're here for the pregnancy update. That's what it is. Um, and some days everything is fine. So it just seems like my digestion has been a little bit off again. Okay, so as far as spotting, I know I updated you guys last week about my appointment with my OB and that I was spotting and she told me to take it easy, basically no exercise. That's what I've been trying to do. Just 
doing less of what I was doing before as far as the exercising goes. We still go on walks here and there, not too often, and I still try and do things around the house so I'm not just a couch potato. But at the same time, I've tried to limit my activity and it seems like it's helped a lot. As far as spotting goes, I definitely see that it's gotten better when I'm not doing anything crazy I feel like some days I wouldn't get spotting at all and some days I would just get a little bit kind of like a just a little bit of like mucusy type of thing comes out and it's like brown tinged but it's really minimal so that's been good I hope that whatever sub chorionic hematoma that I have I hope that it's dissolving and going away and I really hope that by my next appointment it's gone and they can tell me good news that it's gone and everything's fine so this week has been exciting also um, as you guys know last week at my OB appointment I did the NIPT test the genetics test um, which is a blood test if for those of you who don't know and I've been waiting on results they said it could take up to 10 days I've been impatiently waiting for my results and Finally, I got them this week during my 12 week and I got them actually on day 8 I think um, After I did the test so it didn't take too long So I was very thankful and the results came out negative so that means everything's fine and We did find out the gender and I will not talk about the gender in this video. We will be doing gender reveal sometime I'm thinking what I want to do is I really want to get an ultrasound done and and have the gender confirmed which I know that the blood NIPT test um, is like 90 something percent accurate so it's not that I question it I actually want to get the ultrasound done first and then I will do a video on like a gender reveal video and let you guys know but as far as this goes we actually already know what it is and we're excited and I can't wait to share that with you guys. That's pretty much it for my 12 week update. I don't have any other notes. I am so glad that I'm feeling a lot better. Um, I still get tired a little bit, not too bad, you know, just in the evenings. Um, but for the most part, it's not horrible. It's a lot better than it used to be. Can't wait for my second trimester. I can't believe that I'm almost there and yeah so if you guys have any questions list them down below and if you're pregnant right now please let me know how you're feeling um if you know what you're having i will talk to you guys next week thanks for watching we'll talk to you later